yeah, hi everybody, top of the morning. Just got up, got myself a cup of tea. And um, yeah, just sitting here chilling. It's a little bit uh, cold. And that had me thinking then, I'm going to, uh, I was looking at uh, some clothes. I was looking on the military forest. They have a, a good selection of clothes, don't they? Um, I've seen a down jacket for, a nice down jacket. I know the Catalan do them for around 100, but this one was 134 euros, I think. Nice down jacket. I was thinking some layers as well, socks, undergarments. I mean, they have the old school uh, long johns. You know the ones from years ago? Uh, they're like about 12 quid. Um, they have another uh, a rain, a waterproof rain set. Now, it's not the prettiest, and it won't be fitting uh, any great. You won't be styling it around, but you'll keep bone dry in this. It's 30 quid, 30 euros, I think. Um, so yeah, so they have some things. They have some higher end stuff as well. They have backpacks to carry your gun and everything. And yeah, I, love, I love going through. I'll, I'll never own a gun and I'll, I'll never need a backpack. But uh, I still look at it and go, yeah, that would be cool. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so I'm gonna uh, get, get some uh, winter clothes together layers, uh, mid layers, and uh, these shorts, yeah they have some cool clothes as well, this this is a military forest, um, it's got a, a wool fleece, really thick wool and then a breathable, big breathable mesh layer, so uh, yeah so the job is to stay warm out here guys and um, I've always been able to do it by layering the right layers ones that you can take off fast and put on fast as well if you need you know so yeah so the only thing I have to do today I'm going to uh, all I have to do is I've to cook a few meals and um, I, I was just thinking how am I going to fill this whole day you know but the, the, the day does fly I have to cook a few meals two or three meals I'm just after having some uh, uh, fibre bars those pro or not, not protein ones the high fibre bars there, so that's going to do me until about what half ten, and I'll do a bit of breakfast. Um, that'll get me going. Maybe two, three o'clock. I'll do a few burgers, um, and then maybe something for supper. Then, so in between all that, then what am I to do? Um, I'm going to go on a hike. There's a up, uphill. There's a, a waterfall. So I'll bring all my camera equipment, and I'll go on a hike up there, and I'll just lock up tent and leave that here. And um, yeah, so that's what I want to do. I want to go up and chill at the waterfall. Just chill out. Yeah, hi everybody. Um, 
I found a nice place to sit. Um, I went up further and then I went to, it was kind of unpassable. Um, so uh, I just came down here and I thought, oh, this is nice. I'll just sit here and get some hydrotherapy. Yeah. This is what it's all about. This is what it's all about. Like I found a perfect spot. The sun's baking down on me there now. Kind of, you fit a small one-man tent just here. It's really good. Now, back to camp after that nice walk. Yeah, very handy, <laughs> very handy indeed. Um, I'll get lots of use out of that. So the um, 60, 60 euros I spent on it um, was worth the investment for filming anyway. And uh, yeah, right, I have to get some uh, dinner on. Or sorry, breakfast. Oh, what oh, oh, oh. we have, what oh, we have. What do we have here? Right. Let me see. That butter is still hard. That beef from yesterday is still okay. Yeah, they're still they're, they're still a bit cold. Do you know what I think? I think I might. I don't want to break the sail on them, so I might leave them till tomorrow and do up uh, a, I'll do a couple of lamb rollers. Yeah, sure, why not? It's breakfast time in China, or dinner time in China. Yeah, so how am I going to cook this? Dun, dun, dun. Gonna do them on this. And this with a drop of this I have the makings of a bit of dinner or a bit of breakfast right look I'll be back soon to you gonna sort this out These are cheese rolls, still fresh from yesterday. And get the water up. I cut the burger in half to make sure she was cooked. But um, I could smell the herbs and spices. 
the right curb and uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ um, I could smell uh, mint mint is nice with lamb isn't it lamb burgers for breakfast I had beans there but I, I want to keep them for the sausages and the eggs um, yeah I had uh, lamb chops one time uh, in Glen Sowland Valley before I was hiking up Jouse um, and I just cooked them off like I was meant to cook them the night before so they wouldn't have lasted till that evening so I cooked them and uh, got a load of protein into me for the, for the climb oh god they're not meant to taste this good are you? really I know it needs a bit of salt it needs a little bit of salt but um, Jesus some great flavour off that I don't even know how much they were they were a couple of euros is all they were three euros or something Breakfast of Kings. <laughs> mm. Okay, look, be back soon. Ciao. Yeah, so hi everybody, welcome back. I have this here. I had this in the bag because I was originally to go out last um, last Thursday. Ray was coming out as well, and Ray brought me this home from uh, where's the camera? Uh, there's a focus in there, is it? 
Ray brought me this home. It's um, a rum, dry matured, and it's actually a, it's quite, it's, it's bigger than you would think, because it's 180 millilitres. Is that like the equivalent of an agon? Yeah, so Ray, um, I hope you don't mind. I'm gonna put, <laughs> I'm gonna taste it now. I had uh, that lamb burger and the spuds, and yeah, it was all good. It was all delicious, so. Ooh. Reminds me of Christmas for some reason. Okay, here we go. I suppose, look, I don't have a shot glass or a glass, so I'm just gonna drink it like a rock star, yeah. Oh, 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 Jesus Christ, that thing will teach you up. Fucking hell. Whoa. This is kind of a... A berry, a berry taste off it or something. Yeah, nice. Ah, yeah, I'll have a couple of swigs of that now and you... I think it's getting to be about half six or seven now. So, uh, yeah, where did the day go? Was that like, it's a nice start. Nice hike, a waterfall. Then back into the woodlands and doing a few camping chores. Um, getting a fire going a couple of times. Uh, eating, <laughs> uh, done some some photography. Just sitting here stalking, waiting for the the sunlight to come out, you know, and give us um, give us the light we need to just capture some moments. And then um, try to I try to get right into the trees, you know. I try to get in, in photography. Try to merge it into the leaves, into the, the branches, into the um, um, the trunks, everything like. So, yeah. So there we are. That's another um, another day done. Pretty enjoyable day. I feel washed over. Yeah. Anyways, back soon.
Cheers, everybody. Um, I'm just chilling here. It's really nice out there. It's, I got this here. Hang on a second. I got this here. I want to give a shout out to Esteo, a friend of mine. How's it going, dude? How are you? Up out on some rock out there in the west coast of Ireland. Esteo has a very interesting job. Um, he's um, a lighthouse keeper. Oh, wow, that is interesting. And um, there, there was 120 lighthouses. I looked it up then, I did. There's 80 still in use around the coast of Ireland. But as Theo explained to me, they're, they're farmed out. So the Irish Lighthouse Agency, or whatever it's called, they only look after something like um, 20 or so, or so. But anyways, he gave me this here. It's a, it's a miniature little uh, telescope, yeah? And I've been looking over here, I have, from where, oh, that's great it is. From where uh, I'm sitting here, there's a road that comes down through the forest to zigzag. And that's the Wicklow Way, and all the Wicklow Wayers come there, like, so. You, you'll notice them, they're usually in bright blue jackets and, you know. But this, this will be great for any way of showing what, what I can see on this. But this, this would be great if you were hunting deer. You know, maybe you thought you'd seen a little speck down below and then you could get this out. And it's a good, good focus on it. Yeah, wow, like crystal clear. Only thing I'd say about it is the stable, you know. So I've got me, me elbows leaning down. That's a trick I learned in photography. Wow. Yeah. I can see right up there, up that hill. That's amazing. Look over there as well. I guess I'm saying, God, how long would it take me to walk to there? 20 minutes, a mile away maybe? A mile away? Yeah. So handy little gadget, isn't it? Something else for me to put into me back belt. You know? Yeah, so I'm enjoying a cup of tea now. I, that's what I got that out to run up the hill um, to get the coverage and the text of the lads and they're on the way down and they're bringing supplies they're bringing some beer for me it was a bit of a different one because I didn't have beer and I was kind of like oh no but I was missing the beers I, I have done good for you without beer but it's just um, I, don't know, I wouldn't recommend it you should always have at least a six pack there to taste the evening a bit better, you know. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh. I'm going to throw on a bit of breakfast there. Yeah, I had a, a, a yogurt bar and a cup of tea there, so that'll keep me going now for a while. Yeah, anyways, back soon. Bye. Yeah, okay, so um, I'm going to end the video here now. I'm going to walk out and meet the lads. I don't know what to call this, but you know, I'm after being here for two days with no contact with anybody. I haven't seen an anybody since Stephen left two days ago. And that just seems like 10 seconds ago almost. So I've been just one here with nature and just enjoying it and uh, surrounded by it. You can't help but oh, feel so much po positive energy. And um, so much positive energy that I'm going to do two more nights now with you other boys. So, look, um, thanks for watching this one. And um, thanks everybody uh, for all the support and the comments and all. It means a lot to me, it really does. So, I'll see you all on the next adventure. Thank you. Bye bye.